Welcome to Serenity Leisure's video for this 2015 Lunar Delta RS that has recently arrived with us here at Serenity Leisure. The video is being made in connection with the photographs and editorial I expect you've already seen and uh, this is to give you some very up close footage of the caravan itself, uh, external and internal, and also an opportunity for me to point out any markings uh, uh, to the caravan that may appear. So, uh, front end, um, I can categorically state, apart from the fact it needs a new sticker, which it will have when it has its 2017 approved workshop service, uh, gas locker sticker that is, um, is, uh, is unmarked front end. Uh, Lunas have this great big locker on the front, which is excellent for, uh, for storage. It's running on the uh, Alco ATC, uh, stash um, uh, chassis running on the Alco chassis apologies with Alco ATC which is the um, uh, assisted braking electronic assisted braking device uh, and then moving down the uh, non-entry side I should call it the offside really uh, in terms of condition it's pretty much unmarked I have been over the caravan quite extensively already uh, when it arrived and uh, no nasty pimple marks at all, or scratches, well, nothing. Uh, wheels, as you can see, remain in unmarked condition. Uh, so this side is perfect. As good as the day it came out of the factory, which is always nice. Uh, and then on the near side, you've got an external barbecue point. It will have an external 240 volt socket. Again, Condition-wise, much the same. Uh, nothing at all. Uh, no, not one. Not one marking or awning mark on the caravan. No, it is absolutely pristine. Uh, back end, again, lunar sort of distinctive back ends. There we go, high intensity rear brake light there at the top. Um, and uh, no scuffs to the plastics or uh, sort of lower skirts. Um, awning rails, no, nothing at all. So externally it is um, absolutely spotless. Okay, so moving to the interior of this Delta. Right, so this is uh, predominantly a four berth fixed bed um, uh, caravan. Uh, Lunas, uh, unlike some of their other, uh, other models in the, uh, in the range of caravans with this layout, have the particularly long front bench seats, which people seem to like rather a lot. They, uh, oh, that's gone a bit bright now. There we go. Uh, they, uh, they are particularly long, about six foot three, so with the um, side cushions out of the way. So plenty of room there to use them as two singles, or of course the whole uh, uh, front end trans um, uh, uh, changes into a transverse double bed if you so desire. You've got the nice concertina blinds on the caravan all the way around, uh, LED lighting. You've got this big, big sunroof at the top, which lets in plenty of light. You see that? There we go. A big, big long sunroof, uh, which is rather nice. And uh, and obviously the nice sort of cream finished cupboards. Uh, the, the television you can mount at the front here if you want. There's a, uh, a point there. There's an additional table that goes in here. The carpets are with the caravan. They're just under the bed. They haven't been down. Okay, so a kitchen area with loads of storage. There's an extension to the worktop space there, but you probably won't need it because there's plenty of room. I photographed all this in the pictures just to show you all the storage inside. Uh, the um, oven and grill, because though they've hardly been used, they are in particularly nice condition. Uh, oh, what's going on with this camera? There we go. Oven and grill. Uh, and then obviously you've got a nice sink area here. Oh, you can see that there. Yeah. Or an effect sink uh, under LED lighting again, so this sort of whole kitchen area stays well lit. Uh, this is a little storage uh, area for uh, another TV if you want to put another television in or not have the one on the front, just have the one on the back. Your control panel is up here, and then that's the Aldi. Uh, the caravan has Aldi um, uh, central heating, so obviously that's the control panel, touchscreen control panel for the Aldi is just there. This is, to my knowledge, yes, a little bar. There we go. And then you've got the large fridge freezer with a microwave mounted directly above it. Bedroom. 
on the 640. Again, um, it's got a full-size double mattress, which is excellent. Uh, no markings on that at all, no stains. Uh, uh, the mattress is lovely. It's a television point just around the corner. And again, you can see lots more overhead storage. Little area there, sit on the end of the bed, look at the mirror. Uh, big wardrobe with plenty of drawers down the bottom. And then of course the whole double bed lifts up on these gas struts. And then underneath, you can just about make out, there's the carpets rolled up in there. The uh, spare wheel uh, and the trombone. I don't know why uh, the trombone is the, um, uh, the bit that holds the spare wheel, um, but uh, that should be underneath the caravan and it will go back underneath the caravan. We'll fix that back in along with the spare wheel. So it just gives you a little bit more space, obviously in the bedroom area itself. Bathroom, again, great bathrooms on the Lunas. They're renowned for having their really, really big showers. We've got the Dometic uh, electric flush toilet. Again, Aldi heating in here. That's a towel radiator, um, decent sized sink. And there's that rather large shower, which is excellent. There we go. Okay. There we go. Right, I hope you find that helpful. That uh, completes uh, Serenity Ledger's video for this 2015. Luna Delta RS.